in the field of nutrition and human health vegetable oils are just like penguins shiny slimy and difficult to pin but we shall try and pin down the harmful effects anyway it's a surprise to many nina tekol's book is titled appropriately the big fat surprise she says other possible titles were lies misrepresentation and old facts vegetable oils are unsaturated fatty acids which have double bonds between their carbon atoms and this is exactly the weak link in the chain not only polyunsaturated but even monounsaturated fatty acids are pretty unstable this causes oxidation resulting in inflammation which is the major cause of all metabolic diseases it increases cancer risk by two times gallstones strokes cirrhosis of liver it even reduces cholesterol by the way did it surprise you when i said that reduction of cholesterol is a bad thing that cholesterol is a bad thing is another big fat lie cholesterol is actually a very good thing for the body it's actually critical for the body that's why the body makes it itself but haven't we always been told that it is cholesterol that causes plaques in the arteries of the heart which causes heart problems another big fat lie it is not normal healthy cholesterol that causes plaques in the body but only oxidized cholesterol and what causes the oxidation of the cholesterol the vegetable oils of course remember the weak link between the carbon atoms here is how it all happens the oxidization of the cholesterol leading to the plaques in the body but then how did you and i started believing that the plaques are caused by fatty acids and therefore we should replace them by vegetable oils oh that's another story as well told by nina tacols in her book a story of pr and politics till early 1900s the world was happily cooking in saturated fats that stalo lard and ghee clarified butter cardiologists were a very rare species because there were no heart problems and then came along procter and gamble the american heart association was a very small organization but then they suddenly got a boost by a sponsor named procter and gamble the makers of crisco the first commercially produces hydrogenated oil procter and gamble created a radio show called truth or consequences and put in all the proceeds millions of dollars in the coffers of american heart association the aha suitably responded by showing the connection between the heart disease and cholesterol and also the connection between cholesterol and saturated fats like lard ghee and butter etc they also obediently went further and authoritatively announced the remedy which was replace these saturated fats by hydrogenated oils and who was making the hydrogenated oils of course procter and gamble crisco was the name so the circle was complete the rest is history whatever was left was made up by other big farmers which make statins that reduces cholesterol qed hope you know how this vegetable oils are made highly industrialized in chemical laden methods they have to be after all the workflow is as complex and chemical laden as this contrast that with how ghee clarified butter is made and you will see the difference i'm sure by now this slimy penguin has been suitably pinned down shun all vegetable oils and hydrogenated oils 
Indians should be particularly careful of the lovely fried street food, the samosas and the jalebis. The total fatty acids in all these is simply too much. You are not just eating food, you are killing yourself, of course a little slowly. Your choice. So what do you eat and cook into? Well, pure fat, pure clean fat, more omega 3s than omega 6s. Need more advice?